here at Dog City in West Seattle, a dog groomer and doggy daycare. I am so excited for our guest today. It's Desmond Hansen, and he's a local artist, does traffic signal boxes and murals. Let's go meet him. Thanks for joining us. Amazingly talented artist. Um, so in the background, we have um, one of your new murals that you did. Um, how long did it take you to do this one? Um, this one took me uh, roughly about four to five days and about 20 hours. Most people will know you from your street art, um, the traffic signal boxes that you do, the murals. Um, how did you get your start on doing the traffic signal boxes? Well, I was starting to feel a little bit stagnant and wanted to paint some murals and decided after seeing a few of these boxes in my neighborhood pretty demolished and, and vandalized, probably about the perfect size for like a, a portrait of somebody. Mm -hmm. And so that idea kind of blossomed in my head and I kind of took it upon myself to create some designs and then approach SDOT about um, painting the boxes and at first they thought I was a little bit crazy <laughs> and they were apprehensive, um, but now you can see they, they have faith in what I'm doing. How many of them do you have now? I have 60, give or take, some that have been vandalized and aren't really even there anymore because of how much vandalism I've gotten on them. Tell me about your process for choosing who goes on the um, traffic signal boxes. Um, so it's it's a wide range of stuff. Um, sometimes the community will come at me with a proposal for like like in the central district I did um, I think 10 boxes for them and they all came up with the, um, the themes for them and we put our heads together to design them. Um, the ones in West Seattle that I started with were kind of a combination of my childhood influences um, growing up in the grunge era of rock and roll and that being pretty influential on me being a kid. And mm -hmm. So how did you get your start um, as an artist? Um, as an artist, I used to scribble and you know do comic books with my friends and stuff and then we in high school we would pass each other sketchbooks around to each other in between classes try to impress each other. From there, a couple of high school friends of mine, we, we all apprenticed at this tattoo shop. Uh, cool. And when mural work would come through the door or um, like commissions for canvas art and stuff, I would jump at those opportunities. And so from there, murals were kind of like a starting point for me and aerosol art. So you have some traffic signal boxes in this area. Yeah, pretty okay. close. Let's go check them out. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much for taking us through and, and showing us all your amazing murals throughout the city. It's, it's great and it adds so much love and, and community to, to Seattle. So thanks for what you're doing. Thanks for having me.